So yeah, so you brake like much later than a V8 supercar, but it's just like it's back to third here, and because you've got the ABS, you don't have to worry about locking an inside front, so you can just carry huge amounts of speed over here, and then you try not to run too much curb because again, because it's such a flat bottom car with such good aero, you get too high on the curb, you lose a lot of your downforce, mm -hmm. and then it's just like back to second, and just the speed you can carry around here compared to a V8 supercar, like here in a V8, V8 comparatively is actually quite slow, but this thing just grips up and then here, you just feel the under tray just scrape a little bit on the way in and then like hard on it, you can feel the traction control working on the way out, you go up to third, it was almost gonna be fourth gear down here because in qualifying again was, like on my quick lap, this is where I got balked back there, but was like hard on the limiter. And again, it's just the lightest of brakes. And again, you just carry huge amounts of speed around here. Because again, it's got so much downforce. And then it's stand on the brakes as hard as you can, back to second. And the thing's got such good turning. Like it, you carry heaps of speed into here. And from here, as soon as you can see the exit of the corner, you just hard on the throttle, let the traction control do the work for you. And then from here, it's just, so your third, just after this kink here, it's fourth and then further along, fifth and sixth. It's actually, the gear change points are, are quite similar to a V8 supercar, but gears in corners is exactly the same, and gear change points are within probably about 20 meters of each other as well. So like by now, you've, you're in fifth gear here, and then you grab sixth gear just before you start to sort of crest the hill down here. Are you, hit, <clears throat> are you hitting the limiter before the chase? No. Right. Now we're about 273, 274 k an hour. So terminal speed is a bit over 20 k. Like a V8 is about 20, uh, 296, 297. So it's just over 20 k an hour down, um, and it's similar going up the mountain. And that's like that's where it loses the time in comparison to a V8. But across, like from the from the cutting to Forest Elbow, it would be a lot quicker than a V8. But even here, it's so planted. Like in a V8, we have to get right out out onto this area. In this thing, you just stay, just put inside of the white line and just peel it straight through. And then down into here, you don't break until where the where the black is on the wall down here. So you're still doing, you're doing two, 270 here and wow. now just mash the brakes and then just back three gears with the paddle shift. And then again here, off the brakes early and because you've got so much grip, you can just peel it in here and then hard on the throttle. And even here, you feel the traction control working quite hard as you come around. And then, just as you come out of here, as you start to straighten up, you're into fourth gear now. And then again, you run the limiter in fourth, and down into the last corner, you break just after the hundred. Take it in here, Vin. 